station. This is Local 6 at 6. That's for real. Only on 6, chaos on a school bus. But what happens next is the very last thing you would expect. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline London. And I'm Bob Fryer, an Orange County Commissioner in the right place at the right time takes charge after a school bus scuffle turns bloody. Local 6 cameras were rolling as it all happened. Chris Trekman is live with the story only on 6. Bob, Local 6 was conducting an interview with Commissioner Teresa Jacobs when she heard screams coming from a nearby school bus. When she saw the kids on board fighting each other, we called 911 while Jacobs took action. You can see the children out of their seats and fighting as the bus was waiting at the intersection of John Young Parkway and Old Winter Garden Road. Orange County Commissioner Teresa Jacobs demands entry to the bus and inside mayhem. One child suffers a cut during the fight. You can see the blood stain on the bus driver's shirt. Oh, it's, it's, it's very scary. You can see how quickly situations can just spin out of control. Commissioner Jacobs and the bus driver calm the children down. Meanwhile, sheriff's deputies take the most violent child away in handcuffs. You get that mob mentality when somebody hits your friend. You know, even when you think you're under control, you just people don't always act rationally. It's very unsettling, and there aren't any easy solutions. None of the children involved in the fight was seriously hurt. They were ESE students, meaning exceptional student education kids from Cherokee School. Deputies released the scratch boy back into school custody. One deputy told me today it is unfortunate, but they wouldn't have any trouble finding other students scuffling on buses virtually every day of the week. Live in the newsroom, Chris Trankman, Local 6. Chris, thank you. Dozens of kids on